Welcome back, Sea Wolf Pack. DJ here, and uh, I am back down uh, Lake Bistano, and I am um, going to do a little bit of crappie fishing. Uh, one thing that I wanted to show you guys, whenever I pulled up, you got a whole bunch of crappie fishermen. Looks like it here today. So you know that whenever you pull in on a Tuesday, when it's uh, packed like this then you know that the fishing must be on fire. I haven't been here in probably about a week or so. Uh, my last trip was really good. Uh, caught caught a, you know, a dozen or so good ones. But um, today I am just going to uh, see, see what I can do. Try to um, catch a few uh, vertical jigging, uh, probably do some casting and retrieving and maybe even some bobber fishing. So, um, and Possibly I might do a little bit of bass fishing if I can uh, locate some. So anyway, um, let's uh, let's see what we can do, okay? Alright, so water temp is 71 degrees, looks like the wind is out of the west um, at about 4 or 5 miles per hour today. It's going to be pretty light. Uh, last night we we had temperatures down in the, uh, the 40s, oh that was a big fish right there. Uh, looks like a whole bunch of people fishing the bridge today. Last week, uh, I pretty much had it all to myself, but looks like today uh, it's gonna be gonna be pretty busy. Gotta be a brim. No, wait. Is what is that? Bass. Oh, crappie. Nice. Crappie. He ate that thing good too. So light, light complected that I thought it was a um, thought it was a white bass. Whenever I saw it at first come out of the water. Check them out. Good size. I'm guessing about a 13, 13 inch. Yep. Nice little 13 inch bass. I mean, crappie, duh. little baby crap. So check this out. This guy right here, he comes walking up. Clearly he sees me catching fish, so he decides he's gonna go and throw in the exact same spot that I'm throwing. Um, I don't know, like that just irritates me there's not a whole lot that irritates me but that definitely was annoying So this is a spot that's very far away from where people park, people uh, go fishing. Like this is probably a good mile away from where they are. So this guy had to park, walk about a mile just to get over here. I've never um, ever seen anybody fishing in this spot. Off the bank that is. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm gonna get back to fishing, but 
I just was curious if any of you guys have ever had a situation like this where somebody just came right where you were fishing, uh, how it went, how you handled it, um, whether or not you're okay with it. Uh, go ahead and put that in the comment section. Check this one out guys, just, I was vertical jigging right there. And um, been catching nothing but small ones so I turned off the camera. Uh, unfortunately I didn't get this one on camera but I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys this fish. I mean that is a freaking monster of crappie. Um, let's, let's get a, <clears throat> let's get a length on him. Yeah. 13 inch, another 13 incher, good one. All right guys, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's going on. Um, this is a spot that I very rarely fish, but, and I noticed a lot of big fish, see right there? And a lot of them were sitting on bottom. So that tells me that, uh, at least I believe that, you know, there's a lot of big fish here, but they're feeding on either small fish or, um, or shad. What I did was I went ahead and dropped my anchor and I'm shooting in that area where I was finding, where I was marking all those big fish. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, uh, casting right out there, doing a slow roll back and, um, I've caught a couple, haven't caught any big ones yet, but we'll see um, See if we can catch some bigger ones. You can tell by looking at the fish finder that um, there's some, they got some fish here and some good sized fish as well. I don't know if those are bass or what. Almost every time I put it in, put the uh, jig in the water, I'm getting bit. So um, that tells me there's a lot of fish here. Also, this piling right here uh, is where I caught the first fish. Vertical jigging, so I'm kind of mixing it up. Vertical jigging and then casting. Oh, look, there's another one. See? Wow. Oh, it's a, a brim. Yeah, see, there's they got a bunch of fish right here. Just, uh, there's a mix. Small fish and big fish. That's not a bad brim, though.
God. I mean, they're just tapping it. It's got to be brim or something. Or small crappie. Yep, small crappie. One thing that I always like to see is big fish sitting on bottom. It's always a good sign. If you see that, most of the time you will be able to catch them. Nice little fat, got a big gut on him. Nice little war wound right there that healed a long time ago. Right in that area, right there is about where. The big fish should be. Now, I don't know if I need to let it drop down a little bit more. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see, let's see if I drop it down Let's let it drop down about seven or eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, then I'm gonna start reeling. And just let it come to me. There. Oh, that was something. And it felt pretty good. Try this one more time. Cast one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now I'm gonna roll. Very slowly. Oh, that felt like something small. Yep, there's enough. Oh, okay, that one's good. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I might have tapped into him. Wait, what is that? Oh, a good crappie. Oh, felt a little bit stronger than he looks, but still a lot better than what I've been catching today. Look, there's a drone coming through here. Flying over right there, I guess he's probably watching people yeah it seems like whenever it gets very deep it just sinks down you know almost to the bottom it seems like I'm always always getting a, a strike there's fish on the top but it feels like it seems like the smaller fish are on the top and the bigger fish are on the bottom Nice little bass. Little short chunk. Hang on, buddy. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. I'm letting you go.
Okay, where was I? I had made a cast over in this area, right over here. <laughs> and this giant shad flies out of the water. I don't know if that's a thread fin or a gizzard shad or what. I mean, not giant, but it was, I mean, it was about the size of a small brim. Let's see if we can get whatever was going after him. I mean, it had to have been a bass or something going after him. Uh, oh, jeez. There he is. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think there's just a lot of brim right here that are just going after it. and Having to fight through them just to get to the good sized fish. Finally. Man, he was on there for a while too. Whoa. It's pale looking crappie. There he is. Yeah, look at all that activity on the fish finder there. Brim on the bottom. That was a good one too. So here's an interesting scenario. I'm sitting there and there's a boat that's coming across. And before I could even try to warn them, I thought that maybe they knew where they were going or whatever, but they got stuck on this sandbar. 
Yeah, this boat looked like a brand new Skeeter, probably about sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. Had all the bells and whistles and everything. And, um, and I really thought that they knew how to get around this sandbar. I've been stuck on it before. I've seen a lot of people, other people get stuck on it. I've helped people get off of it. So I just sit there and uh, watch them just to make sure that they were able to figure out how to get off of it um, successfully. So like I said, I've been stuck on this same sandbar before, actually a few times, and I've always gotten off. But these guys, they must have had a lot of weight in that boat because it wasn't moving. Well, that was entertaining i wasn't gonna let them do that for very long if they acted like they needed some help i was gonna go over there see if they had a rope or something and pull them off like i've done before
So as the day's winding down, I just love this time of the evening because I can sit there, it's quiet, I can reflect on the day and um, think about all the different things that I did during the day. You know, it's just a very peaceful time for me. So here's a topic that I've been wanting to talk about, weigh in on for a long time now. And um, that's uh, live scope and or um, front facing sonar. Uh, what my opinion is on the technology. So here's my take on live scope and similar front facing sonar technologies. Whenever I'm fishing, I prefer to be looking at the water. I don't like to be looking at a screen. I know a lot of people get a lot out of that. That's, you know, that's their thing. But when I'm fishing, I'd prefer to be looking at the water, trying to figure out what they're doing. And um, if I wanted to be looking at a screen while I was fishing, I would just be at home playing a video game. But then I digress. And I just want to thank everybody for watching this video all the way to the end. I uh, just want to thank all of my subscribers um, who have stuck with me, watched my videos, commented. Uh, you know, you guys are awesome. And um, I just want to say I hope you guys can get out and do some fishing and, um, and bend some rods. Have a going.